Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a hydroponic project that you can do with your kids. It's a very fun project to do together and I promise that they will enjoy it and they would look forward to the progress. And uh, I did this project with my niece and they call me every day to check on progress. So uh, each time they call, they wanna FaceTime and see the plants. It's a very simple project and it requires very little uh, equipment so you don't have to spend a lot of money buying all these fancy things so I'm gonna list out a few things you will need and I will post links as well so that you can just uh, find it directly and most of these can be found on Amazon so uh, this here is the is the one that we did together uh, I forgot how long this uh, this uh, ago this is maybe two weeks I'm not sure <laughs> I just I forgot but it's look how beautiful these sorrel plants are and uh, I pulled two plants out here and I placed it in my air, air garden unit and uh, I'm sure those will grow much faster than these because uh, they will have more space. But um, you can easily move this into another system. Just pull this out and put it into a bigger system if you like. But um, something this, this size here is easy and it's fun for the kids to do. So very simple. Okay, so the items you will need uh, are very simple things. Uh, you need a koozie, any kind that you have uh, for holding drinks. So uh, I, I got these uh, from my Christmas party a few years ago and I saved it. And then a water bottle. So if you have a used water bottle, keep it. And this is what we're gonna use. A net cup, this is a two inch. They're very, very cheap. And some rock wool cubes and also very cheap you can find this on amazon and the rock wool cube will go in like this and then you would just need a container of water right here this is just simple plain water for us to soak the rock wool in so what i'm going to do now while, while we do other things is just go ahead and put that in here and allow it to soak up water and then we'll come back to it and then lastly you will need the seeds of your choice these are sorrel I got these online, uh, I guess here, here's the company there. But uh, you can find this anywhere uh, you like, uh, whatever the best price for you, get that. Uh, it doesn't have to be Sorrel, uh, I like Sorrel, that's why um, I bought these and I just happen to have these available, so that's what we're using. You can use basil, uh, lettuce, uh, whatever else you like, so it, uh, your choice. And uh, here is the bottle, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the bottle into the size that we need uh, because this is going to be a very simple small project and the plants are not going to grow huge we don't need a big container and so this is easy to manage so if you have uh, two or three kids then you need two or three bottles so they'll have one for themselves okay so uh, we'll just cut the bottle here like so just cut right under the label And there you have it, that is our container. And then the, the, the net cup goes in like that. And then this would go in here. And all the koozie is doing here is keeping light from getting through because with the nutrients, uh, water, and, and lights getting through, algae will grow. So uh, when we have a koozie, it, it sort of like prevented a little bit. You still get algae but uh, not as much so it's recommended that you have something like this and it's really easy to clean out you if, if it becomes dirty you just pull up the net cup and then fill it up with water swish it around and pour it out and then that's how you clean off the the algae and then you can add fresh nutrients and it goes right back and it goes under your light so guys for those that are wondering if you can grow this without light no you cannot these these are um uh, plants so uh, they love to have lights uh, grow light uh, what I'm using here is the arrow garden you don't have to use the arrow garden I'll show you a simpler way to do it all you need is a light bulb and a lamp so that's what that's what we use okay so um, my rock wool is soaked now and what we're gonna do is we're going to put seeds into it so let me pour the water out and then I'll show you the rock wool and then we'll put the the seeds into the rock wool okay here is the rock wool and it was soaking in just 
plain regular water right out of the faucet nothing special and I pour the water out now so uh, we're going to add the seeds so we're gonna grow a few that way it will look nice and full and uh, like this just a bunch of plants and as I mentioned you can use anything you like you can use lettuce uh, basil, basil is a good one because uh, they grow easily and sorrel definitely easy because uh, I, I just showed you that okay so there it is and now we are going to add some seeds these are sorrel seeds they're super tiny so um, put like one or two of those per hole and uh, they'll, they'll grow all over the place because there's sometimes it's very hard to put them in so it drops like on the side sometimes it drop in the nutrient water and it just grows down there as well all right and then next what we're going to do is put the rock wool here into a net cup like so and then the net cup will go in he here and then we'll put that into our koozie just like that and I would recommend having a ziplock bag here and put it over the top this would keep moisture in so that the water remain in there that way you don't have to um, keep adding water and it's just enough for the seeds to sprout and uh, within four to five days or maybe sometimes less it will sprout and uh, we'll come back and then uh, I'll show you what to do next uh, once they sprout uh, we're gonna wait until they develop some roots and then we'll add nutrients so I'll mix the nutrients then in the meantime let me show you where the plants are gonna go uh, it's gonna go under these uh, grow light bulb that you can get online they're between 20 to 25 dollars sometimes less just uh, uh, find one that you like best and and go with the, the price that's good for you okay so let me show you that okay here is where they're gonna go right under this light bulb here all this is is just a grow light and then you just need a, a lamp just a regular lamp that you uh, that you use a regular light bulb on remove the regular light bulb and then put the grow light in and uh, the grow light looks somewhat like this see and you can get these online they're about 20 bucks so there it is and uh, you can also use uh, something like this this is a, a different grow light it's more of a purple kind uh, for spectrum this is the pumpkin LED lights and if you would like to uh, take a look at this I will post links to these as well so you can take a look but uh, in the meantime here's where the the plants are gonna go I mean the seed are gonna be and then once they sprout we'll come back and then we'll mix the nutrients and grow the plants alright guys it has been exactly four days and my plants have sprouted you see there uh, there should be a few more coming out pretty soon but at this stage we're gonna still leave them here exactly the way it is and then just make sure the cube there is m sort of wet so um, it should take a while but if it, if it seems dry in your area in your climate or in your room then uh, get some water and just drop it on there and just make sure that um, the whole thing is wet for now because the plants will need those water to to grow but uh, it's not ready to be transplanted yet so we'll leave it here and then we'll come back once it's ready and then we'll mix the nutrients and transplant them okay today has been exactly eight days now and the plants have grown a little bit more and I started to notice there are roots coming out at the bottom of this container here. And so this is a perfect time for us to add some nutrients. So let's go ahead and mix some nutrients and then we'll add it to this unit. Okay, to mix the nutrients, what you're going to need is a gallon of water. And what I normally do is save this uh, Arizona green tea container because they're nice and sturdy and it has a handle. So it's easy to work with. So uh, use anything you have that is a gallon because that's the best when you do a uh, small project like these. Okay, next you're going to need uh, hydroponic nutrients. Uh, you can use the DynaGrow 
Uh, that is for uh, vegetative growth. Uh, if you have if growing fruit plants, you also need the bloom series, which is here. Because we're only growing herbs, you don't need the bloom. So all you need is the grow series. And uh, you can also use the arrow garden plant food here, and that would work as well. Or you can, there's a flora series by General Hydroponic, you can also use that. Okay, and then you need a medicine dropper. This is a one teaspoon, five milliliter. And just a little uh, dropper again for the uh, pH down. You don't want to use the same thing because it might mix up and not be good. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to add our nutrients. And it's always good to add nutrients first before uh, you add the pH uh, down or up. That way you can adjust it and it works better that way. Uh, in some videos you see that I add the pH down before I add the nutrients. That's because I know that nutrients well and I know that it would not change much. But uh, a, a bunch of people freak out about that stuff. So I'm, I'm going to show you the, the proper way. Okay. So shake up your nutrients really well and then we're going to get 5 milliliter. Here you go. And this is 5 milliliter. You just add that into there. And uh, one of these bottles will last you a very long time unless you grow like a lot of stuff. But uh, for the small projects that I've been doing, man, these things will last forever. It's okay. So you close it up and then you're going to have to shake it really well to get everything dispersed um, evenly. And see, with this handle, you can just shake it nicely. Okay, so once that is nice and mixed up, we're going to use our pH meter to check our pH. And this should be around six something. Yep, 6.54. Okay, so it's sitting around 6.1. Sometimes, uh, you know, like out of your tap, and then when you add the nutrients, it will sit around 6.5, which is okay. But you want to you want to move it down. You know, add it a few drops of uh, pH down right here to bring it to around 5.9. I, I find that 5.9 to 6.3 is the best range for my for what I've been doing. So just just add a few drop of this. You always want to add a, a little and then adjust. Don't add a bunch because then, you know, it'll bring it way down and then you either have to trash it or, you know, start over. So you don't want to do that. So just just add enough and then test it and then test it again, you know, as you go. That way you don't waste your effort. And then shake it up. Okay, usually let it settle for like, you know, 10 minutes and then it, it'll uh, stabilize it out. Okay, so now it's sitting at around 6.1. I need to drop it a little bit more because I want it to be in the 5.9 range. Okay, there it is, 5.9. So that is perfect. That is how I mix my nutrients. So this, you can leave this in here for uh, two weeks. And that's what I have left it that long and it should be fine. Uh, just check pH before you use it if you haven't uh, used it in a while. So uh, for those that have been asking, how long can, can the nutrients stay like this? So I, I've left it for two weeks. I mean, I don't recommend doing that, but uh, I have done that. So just check pH before you use it. Okay, we have our nutrients mixed now, so let's go ahead and take this container out of here. You see the, those, uh, the water at the bottom is the condensation, and uh, usually you can just pour it out. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to add nutrients, and we'll make sure that it touches the bottom of the net cup. So we'll just pour it in on top. So there you have it right there. It's slightly touching. That's all you need. Make sure the the rock wool is kind of wet with the, the nutrients as well. And that is it. We sh you can put it back now. 
and then we'll place it back under our lights and then we'll come back in a few days and see how much they grow all right guys it has been exactly 16 days now and here is the progress on the plant it's looking very nice and it's grown a lot so uh, let me show you the root system look at that it drank up all of the initial nutrients that we filled so it's time for a refill now and when you refill you just want to refill all the way up to this point um, don't go all the way up above the net cup because that would drown the plants but as long as you fill it up to here slightly underneath it it should be fine because there's still air roots up here that uh, will allow the plants to breathe and because there's so many plants here it'll drink the nutrient pretty quickly so uh, when you have it at this level it should be okay it will not drown the plants so uh, there it is guys it's very simple and fun and it's a great uh, experiment uh, project to do with your your kids and uh, it's very easy so I hope you guys give it a try and uh, let me know what you think anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe